Hi Virgo, welcome to your November 2021 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Virgo. This will not resonate with every Virgo that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Virgo, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Virgo and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means that you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the rules are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those rules if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I will be using my sound bowl to clear the energy, so if you are listening to this using headphones, I do suggest turning it down a little bit. I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. Nice. Okay. So for this reading, Virgo, I am tuning into an energy that's in or around your energetic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this very moment. Whether you're single or taken, whether you're together or apart, let's see who's coming through for you and why for the month of November. Let's see. I'm going to ask how they feel about you. What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you and what do they not like it about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Virgo? Okay. So, I have to say it, Virgo, but this is what it looks like. Um, this is someone who wants to pull Lazarus with you, someone who wants another chance with you. I mean, I can't decide what cards fall on the table, but it looks like with judgment, death, the world, five of cups... If it's not someone you've broken up with or you've had a past with, um, this is someone who feels guilty or feels sad, has regrets in regards to what's been going on lately in the connection between the two of you. And I think they want to tell you about exactly where it is they see you two going, what it is that they want to work out with you guys. Um, but there's a lot to be healed here. I can see that. Um... I do think that they find this period between the two of you guys, whatever's going on, is a period of transformation, not so much as an ending. And I'm wondering if they think you are looking at this as a wrap, or they're afraid that you are, that you don't want to work on this, um, because they very, very much do want to. And I think that you guys have been talking, um, Especially if it has been an ex or someone who's coming back. Maybe they came back around Mercury retrograde since we just went through that. But someone who you've been trying to see if it's worth giving this another shot. You may still be in this kind of decision stage with this person. Um, I just saw the letter C. I saw CH actually specifically. First, middle, last initials could resonate with someone here. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this because Virgo, I almost feel like they would be begging for another chance. Um, they don't want this with anyone else but you, and they're very fixated on you. But let's go ahead and see this. So, bottom of the deck, King of Cups, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, you could have Scorpio in your chart. It does not have to be the case in order for this to resonate. But I do feel this person feels very protective of you, territorial of you, or just has a lot of emotions and feelings, daydreams about you what it would be like to be with you, to move in together, to be committed to one another. Um, you know, someone is very sensitive, very emotional. And I think, Virgo, you kind of try to make decisions apart from your emotions because you know emotions can be biased. Whereas if you look at a situation objectively and you see that there's been certain errors, mishaps, overall, despite my feelings for someone and the care that I have for them, is this something that can actually work? And I think that's kind of where in this moment you're trying to decide with this specific person. Um, I do feel you, ha you care about them. 
you know, I don't think it's one-sided at all. I think you both have feelings for each other, but you're trying to make the best choice for yourself despite the feelings there. Um, you know, we'll dive deeper into these cards, but it kind of feels like someone messed up. Someone, I don't know, I even feel that there's emotions. I feel someone's cried to you, like on the phone or through text or, um, you know, has been very, when they think about you, they get emotional. And now I'm hearing that Whitney Houston song, So Emotional, um, may resonate with you, doesn't have to. But yeah, I think Virgo, they've been really much down in the dumps or <laughs> very much in the blues since you guys have had this disruption in the connection or a breakup even. Um, I think they found you to be very supportive, very stable. And maybe this person relied on your stability to some extent. But this person has a lot of healing to do, and I can feel that as well. And you sense that too, Virgo. And where you once had like a compassion for this person, it's like, can I do that healing for them? Have they even learned through this, or are they still just relying on me to be the fix it all, do it all, which I can't be? So let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. I'm seeing someone with a really big jacket on like a really big hoodie, like an oversized hoodie or jacket, or maybe um, you still have their jacket, they have yours, I don't know. But someone still wears it if they still have your jacket. Just saying. How they feel about you is the Queen of Swords. Libra energy. So what I feel with this, Virgo, is that I think they <laughs> have, you know, different than what I usually feel with the Queen of Swords, but I have to go with what I feel. Um, you know, looking at this Queen of Swords, looking at a picture, right? I think they pretty much believe and see you as being their only option. They can't imagine themselves being with anyone else. They are very much focused on having you, but they know that they have to cut some habits. They know that they have to make some decisions. I really do think, Virgo, you're waiting on for them to do the change that you need to see from them. The evolution, the transformation. And I think they get it now. You know, if there has been some sort of conversation that's made it very apparent, or, you know, you're just not... I'm sorry, this sounds derogatory, I don't mean it to say it that way, but I heard Captain save a hoe. And of course, that doesn't mean anyone's a hoe, but... I mean, like, someone who's always there to, they kind of looked at you as that person to always, again, be there for them. Um, it, it, But you always felt like it never really was enough. Even when you were there, they still wanted more from you that you couldn't give. And so maybe, Virgo, they see you as being this queen of swords, regardless of gender or sex, but someone who has made boundaries, who has kind of cut certain ties certain bonds that made you a bit who that took too much from you and you made it very very clear what you need what you expect but i still feel again that they only want you and it's going to be that fixation but will they do the work it takes to be with you what they think about you is judgment this is that second chance. This is that revival. Sorry, <laughs> motorcycle going outside. I don't know if someone rides motorcycles, rides bikes. Um, but anyway, maybe motocross I'm hearing for someone out there. But this is that hope that this could still make through the worst of what you guys have been through. Even if you are separated, even if you haven't spoken, there's definitely this need that they have to speak with you but you feel on your end Virgo that you've given them too many chances but at the same time I feel some of you do hope that if they were to make the changes that this could really work but judgment I think this by the end of this month Virgo you're going to decide if this person's right for you if you want to still hold on to this, if you still want to work with this. But kid you not, I mean, even look at this image here. 
they feel very much tied to you. They still think there's destiny between the two of you, fate between the two of you. And I think right now in this moment, they are hoping that you will realize that, wake up to that. And Virgo, you may be sitting here like, you know what, I feel it. I felt there is a purpose between the two of us, but sometimes that purpose may not be to flourish and bond and nurture, but to experience, learn, and grow. But, yeah, I'm getting something here with someone feeling like they messed up. But they want to make it work. They want to do the work. I see that. But they know, ultimately, Virgo, that the ball is in your court to decide. It may not be in your court to act, to reach out, but you're definitely the one that can decide where this goes between the two of you. You have that final say, because if you were to give them that opportunity, that chance, they'll hang out with you, they'll be with you, they'll come right over if you were to ask them to. But I think for some of you, they're almost like waiting to hear what you have to say. Maybe like they sent you a long paragraph recently and you still haven't responded yet because you don't know how to respond what to say in this. Um, but they do think that you guys aren't meant to end this, that it's meant to keep on going. What they like about you is the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Some of you got multiple Virgo placements, like Virgo rising, Virgo sun, or whatever, but um, you know, you are someone that is stable, who looks for stability, you know, you're not someone that likes a good session, a quick tender hookup, and then just dump it for the next. You're someone that looks for someone who is thinking about settling down or having a serious commitment. Um, you are a bit picky and selective in who you date and who you surround yourself with. You have a tight circle of friends. Um, but I think that's because you see the value in people and you see what sometimes people can't offer and can't give. Some may think it's judgmental, but I think you just know what's worth your time and what isn't. Um, I also think with this Knight of Pentacles that you're ambitious, that you're looking to start your own business, your own entrepreneurship, or try something new. You're that person who works very, very hard. Maybe some of you have multiple jobs, or you do overtime, um, and they find you to be a hard worker, which is attractive, someone who can provide, um, someone who makes their own money, is their own boss even for some of you. But for most of you, I get the fact that if you are a bit picky or selective about who you date or who you talk to, they were kind of flattered that you had their eye on them. What they don't like about you is the Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. You are not someone that shows your emotions. You don't wear your heart on your sleeve. You're not the person who's going to write, you know, Shakespeare romantic letters to pour your heart out to someone. Um, and maybe sometimes they think emotionally you're a bit disengaged or a bit distanced or that you protect yourself when it comes to them, maybe for good reason. Um, I'm also getting someone that may drink a little bit. I'm seeing, um, seeing vodka. Uh, likes to take shots or maybe, I also get for some of you that um, they're afraid you're flirting with someone else or that you're engaging with someone else. Maybe they know that you've been reaching out to other people or you've been thinking of other options as well. For others of you with this Knight of Pentacles, I mean, excuse me, Knight of Cups, is that um, you, for some, they think that you have these goals, you have these, you may have talked about like being in a relationship with them or committing, but it hasn't fully gone through yet and they may view you as flighty. But again, is that for reason? Did you pull out for a reason, you know? Especially if something that they messed up on or they were insecure about that made you think of them in a different way. 
to not want to move forward with this. But I get this too, is that right now, especially if there has been distance between the two of you, um, you know, you haven't been as emotionally engaging with them because you don't want to be brought back into the cycle of emotions of, you know, getting pulled down with them and then not finding another way out of it or having to fight out of it again like you've done before. What they like about the connection is the death card, Scorpio energy. I feel you've changed them, Virgo, in some way, in some important way that whatever the situation's been between the two of you, separation, um, an argument, not talking, keeping your distance, something has really made them realize that they don't want to be the way they were that made you get pushed away by them or that made you walk away from them or made you repel from them. I think there is something that you've really shown to them through this connection that they have to change. I don't think just for you, but for anyone in their personal relationships. To even gain some more independence. I want to, I'm going to clarify this death, death card. I'm curious. Tell me more about this spirit. I get too that they're hoping that they can change for you. Um, I'm also getting someone who may be a little insecure about their belly. Um, having a little... Um, you know, thickness around the belly, um, you know, ain't nothing to worry about. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. Tell me more about this death card. The hangman. Okay, so for some of you, what I feel with this Pisces energy again, strong Pisces energy. If you have Pisces in your chart, if you're dealing with a Pisces, I suggest checking out the Pisces reading to see if there's messages for you there. This is how I kind of feel about this, Virgo, is that during this time apart, now that they're in this hangman stage with you, because you know, you didn't give them a choice, you kind of just distanced yourself. They realized a lot, like I said, and they realized that you know, especially with you, if they weren't going to change, they will be alone. And they don't want to be alone. And they don't want to be away from you. And I think that's what's motivating them to do major changes in order to be with you. It feels like not just, you know, um, making the bed. It feels more like, you know, some major change that has to happen. Um you know, like quitting a certain job or um, a complete override of their toxic behaviors or tendencies, which honestly we all have. It's called the shadow. And it's because we're programmed with these certain things. But different than other people, I feel sometimes I get um, self-centered, narcissistic energy. I'm not really feeling that with this. And if that's your story, I'm sorry to hear it. Um, but I'm feeling more so of just someone who's kind of lost who's unsure and by being with you, you gave them some sort of crutch, but you're not a crutch. And I think through this time of separation, they learned that they could do a lot more without you being the person that has to always tell them to do so. I don't know, I hope that makes sense. But a lot of growth that they needed to do and it's put them in this weird position of being alone to make them really certain of that growth that they have to do. Yeah, Nine of Wands too. Yeah, and I think, Virgo, you there are times where you miss them, but you know that you can't change them, that they have to do it, and that's why you're staying strong through this. Even if there's times you do want to reach out, you do want to talk, you know that, especially because you're, you, you're represented by the Hermit card, you're the master of reflection, self-mastery, discipline. And you want them to do it as well because you also care for them in that respect. But it's getting hard. I'm hearing someone, I don't know if it's you or the other person, but I'm missing you more and more every day. That we don't talk, that we don't speak. What they don't like about the connection is the world card. So, I don't know, maybe you've even moved 
since you guys split up to a different city, a different state, and the distance is bothering them now that they really don't have access to you. Um, but others of you, they're afraid, maybe you communicated this, but that you're just going to other things. You've had a good time, but you know what? I'm ready to do me, I'm ready to expand, I'm ready to grow out of this situation and start a new chapter in my life. And they want to be there with you to do it. Man, it, it, I'm sorry, I'm even feeling it in my crown chakra very strongly, which is even giving me a headache. Um, you guys were together for a long time, I'm kind of picking up on. Um, and if it wasn't for a long time, then it felt like a really long time, or you felt like this was going to be the person you were going to be with for a while. Or maybe Virgo, they get the sense too that you're doing so much better now whether that's just how you portray yourself on social media or they've heard some of your recent accomplishments of what you're doing um, and that they're still, you know, not at the same level. I get there's a lot of insecurities around, you know, if they deserve you. Highest hopes, five of cups, Scorpio energy. I think they just want to make amends. They want to fix what has been messed up, what wasn't corrected, what wasn't addressed, all the mess ups, all the mistakes, they're hoping you'll give them another chance. They're hoping that you will reconsider is what I'm hearing for some of you. That I feel like they even have told you or did they just think like, you know we're meant to be together. You know that. But it, that feels even manipulative in itself. Um, someone could live by a water fountain or where they work, you know, right in the parking lot or out in front is a huge water fountain that you have to walk by every day or they do. Um, but to, you know, that you'll see that despite everything that has gone wrong, that there's still love there. But again, like, I just heard this from a plant shop that I bought a plant from recently and it said too much water doesn't always mean you're giving love because <laughs> I had mess ups with my plants before and I think like Virgo this person's trying to push it on so strongly or trying to fix this so much with all the wrong tools all the wrong way that it's not solving the issue and I think in your heart again you want to care you you send your love and light to them but there's only so much you can do and maybe there's some things that now it's been so down the road, can it be fixed? But they're hoping to make up for whatever they did wrong or whatever they did to push you away or to make you walk away. Maybe by offering something that they didn't offer before and that's what you were waiting on for far too long, may I add. Deepest fears, eight of pentacles, Virgo energy, that you don't want to work on this that you don't see this going anywhere, it's not worth your time, it's not worth your effort, you're working on something else, you have other priorities, maybe another relationship that you'd rather go into, that you wouldn't accept all the effort that they would have to offer. That's their deepest fear. But to see the likely outcome of this situation, Virgo, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I will pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else you need to know about how they feel about you right now, or even if Spirit has anything to say about this connection for your clarity. I'm hearing Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Interesting. <laughs> May resonate. Anything else? that Virgo needs to know. True love and free yourself. Yeah, I do feel Virgo, they're still very much in love with you. That they will always be in love with you. That will never change. But I think they're trying to keep you back in, to reel you back in, to have this moment, to make up for it. I promise this time around I'll do it. But I gotta be honest, it feels karmic. It feels karmic and I feel that again you can have love but that doesn't mean you have to give your all to this 
especially if it's just completely taking away from you, which I feel this person has. I'm seeing someone with really little hands. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there wasn't enough they could carry on into this connection, but uh, it could be quite literal. But I do think that they view you as their true love, that they're one and only, but maybe it's unrequited to some extent at this point. Or do you see yourself being with them again? But they're gonna have to do a lot of releasing, a lot of work for you to open up and trust this again. Someone could be born near the horse in Chinese astrology. Anyway, Virgo, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading, where I'm going to overturn this card to see the likely outcome of this connection, but what you should do about this, what they're likely to do, but what is this connection, and give you further clarity and dive deeper by pulling oracle cards and just getting into it. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. Will they wait around? Will they do the change? Or will it just be the same old? But if this is where we depart, Virgo, I really hope that this has resonated with you or has given you clarity and insight in regards to what's going on in your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to win a free customized gift box from me? I'm doing this new giveaway where I'm selecting one lucky subscriber every month to win a personalized gift box I put together for that winner because you guys are amazing and I have to give back in some way. So this box will contain a bunch of goodies that include a tarot card I pull for that person, an oracle card, a handwritten note from me that I channel from spirit to you personally about the cards involved or anything else I get, and a bunch of other great stuff. So if you're interested in seeing what's in this box or how you can enter your chance to, to win, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there in case you're interested. I love you, Virgo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Virgo.